God gave me a vision. Not that I'm a special sort of fellow and he gives me visions all the time, but I was very young. I was laying in my bed late one night, maybe I was around 12 or 13, and I was listening to Audio Adrenaline's Hands and Feet. It's just, it's just a song that talks about how I want to be God's hands and feet. Um, it's, it's a great song. Well, as I was listening to this song for, I don't know, the hundredth time, not in a row, but I just have listened to it a lot, that's what I mean. I was laying there with my headphones on, about to fall off, to drift off to sleep, and I, I was just suddenly overwhelmed with emotions. And I was, I, I remember I actually had the wherewithal to be like, okay, this is really weird. I'm not a very charismatic, emotional sort of fellow here. But these images started flashing before my eyes. And it reminded me of, um, you know those, those slide projectors? Where it just kind of continues and goes tsh, tsh, And then it goes to the next one tsh, tsh. It reminded me of, uh, of that. I don't remember a lot of the pictures except for one. And it was a picture of me. And I was older. And I was standing there in the middle of a crowd of people. And I knew at that moment that I was giving them the gospel. Like, salvation. Like, this is how you get to heaven. And I was giving them this message. And I remember seeing the, the smiles on their faces. And, uh, and they were happy and joyful that I was bringing them this message. And I was like, wow, okay, this, this is... Uh, Right? So God, you're, uh, you're telling me to be a, a missionary, right? I, like I was awake enough to actually have this conversation with myself and with God. I was like, okay, this is really weird. Uh, and you know, the whole time tears going down my face. It's like, ah, I could have done this without the tears, all right? And I, I remember thinking to myself, I am going to look to see what the ethnicity of these people are so that at least I'll know as a missionary where God wants me to go. You know, because the world is a really big place. If they're African people, he might want me to go to Africa. Irish people, go to Ireland. Uh, you know, you, you get where I'm going with this. But I remember looking at these people with such intensity, I was actually squinting my eyes trying to see what ethnicity they were, but I couldn't. It was the weirdest thing ever. I knew they were happy, joyful, but I couldn't tell. It was just like, no ethnicity. It was just the weirdest thing ever. I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but in some way I kind of imagine that's how heaven is like. Like there's just, there's, or maybe there is ethnicities in heaven. I, I don't know, but it's not an issue. It's just we're just completely colorblind in a good way, not colorblind in a bad way. And so I was like, okay, the song ended, and I was like, all right, this 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 is really weird. Uh, all right, and I remember taking my headphones off, and at that point, hearing my dad out in the hallway, and he was talking with my sister Genevieve, and. Uh, and it was the weekend, like the next day was Saturday, because I remember my sister saying, uh, so what are we going to do tomorrow? And they were just like talking about like, you know, the day and like, are we going to go to the zoo or something fun like that? You know, what are we going to do tomorrow, the weekend? They were talking about that. I thought I have got to get up and tell somebody what's going on. This was really, really strange. And w when God talks to you, it can be a strange thing. It, it's not, um, I mean, it probably should be no, more normal. <laughs> but it was like, all right, God wanted me to know this. So I got up and I went out and I opened up the door to the hallway and the hallway was completely dark. No one out there. 
So I sort of walked down the hallway, like, okay, maybe they just went down the stairs. No, it was an old house, so the stairs really creaked a lot. You could tell if someone went down or up, or, and I was like, no one's in the bathroom, that's completely dark. It sounded as if they were right outside my bedroom door. Wow. And the next morning, this was still in my mind, of course, this doesn't happen every day. I told my mom, she was like, huh, well, sounds like the message is pretty clear. God wants you to be a missionary. By the way, I have an idea on why you got up. It's like, why is that, mom? She says, I imagine that someday when you're pursuing your career and, and your dreams and your goals in your life, that you might have some form of doubt as to whether or not God is really calling you to be a missionary. Like maybe it was just a dream. Because people dream rather vividly, right? Uh, and so I was like, so so what do you mean? What, what are you getting at here? Like, like with me getting up? And she said, yes, that's exactly it. Because you you got up and you had the wherewithal to know that you were actually awake and you're not just like fabricating this in your wild imagination, you were confirming that you weren't making this up, you weren't dreaming. This is the real McCoy. God was really telling you to go out and be a missionary and he was giving you this vision. Uh, so someday, if you have any doubts, don't ever have the doubt that you made this up. This is legit. My mom didn't use the word legit, but you get the idea. So uh, that's, that's one of the drives that I have, one of the passions that I have to, uh, that drives me to go out and tell people about this awesome message of you know how to get to heaven. There's more to just this earth that we're living on right here. But anyway, I uh, don't mean to preach at you. <laughs>